Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 25th of July, 13th of Av. Here we go. Well, I have to tell you about a special day that's coming up on Friday. It's going to be called Tub Av, the 15th of Av. It's a very festive day. You won't feel it much in our regular Halacha way. Uh, the main way that you'll feel it is that we won't be saying Tachon in that day because it's festive. Um, otherwise, there's no Hallel or there's no any, any of those kinds of things. But it's just a special day with no Tachanun because it's special. And I'll just uh, would love to teach about what's so special about Tu B'Av, the 15th of Av. Do not confuse it with Tu B'Shvat. Um, Tu just, of course, means 15. Tesvav stands for 15. And the 15th of Av is a special day for a number of reasons. Um, the first reason that I love to teach each year is this special reason. When the Jews were in the desert, you know that they sent spies to check out the land of Israel. And the spies came back with a bad report. And because of the bad report, the Jewish people spent another 40 years in the desert. When they spent those 40 years in the desert, the way it worked was, was that God said to them, you turned your back on Israel. You said that you didn't want to go in. So this entire generation will die off and your children will go in instead of you. That's how God announced it to them when they, on the 9th of Av, by the way, turned their back on the land of Israel. And he said, fine, if that's how you want it, then this will be a day of crying forever. And this generation will die off in the desert, and the surviving generation will go in at the end of 40 years into Israel. So God then told them this very interesting arrangement, which was that all the men aged 20 to 60 who were held guilty of agreeing to the, you know, report of the spies, or at least, you know, I, I don't know that they were all, all, all in cahoots with this bad mission. I would not dare say that, but, but the thing is that they accepted the report, or they went along with it, or they remained silent as the nation cried over it, and God said that the whole generation is just not going in. And then he had them dig graves and said to them, every single year that you're in the desert, um, during these 40 years, you're going to lie down in these graves, and on the 9th of Av, you're going to wait to find out which one of you don't wake up. Serious. The Medrash tells us this, the Gemara talks about it, and so they lie down in their graves every year on the 9th of Av, and 15,000 of them did not wake up, and uh, they were buried uh, there, and slowly, year by year by year, that generation died off in that way. And if you do the math, that comes out to 600,000 men, 15,000 a year for 40 years. And there are some questions on the math there because it only happened in the second year of the desert. But, but basically, it added up to generally the 600,000 men, age 20 to 60, who were part of the nation that said they didn't want to go in. And they died off each year on the 9th of Av. Now, let's go quickly to the last year. During the last year, they lied down in their graves. There were the last 15,000, and they were all expecting to die on the 9th of Av as punishment for, you know, and they were not going to go into the land of Israel. But the next morning they woke up and they thought, uh, you know, there weren't any real, real visible written calendars. So they thought maybe we made the calculation wrong. And so they got back in their grave on the 10th of Av and realized again that when they woke up on the next morning that, wow, maybe we made the calculation wrong, but we did not die. And so they got into the, the graves for several nights until finally, on the 15th of Av, they were looking up at a full moon and said, that's a full moon. It's the 15th of Av, and uh, we are definitely not dying because uh, we're six days after the 9th of Av. Um, and God said that this would happen on the 9th of Av. So they woke up and they celebrated, and those last 15,000 did not die off in the desert, at least not on that day on the 9th of Av. And they celebrated it when they saw the full moon on the 15th of Av and woke up and were well and lived to tell the story. And that's one of the very many interesting reasons that Tuba Av, the 15th of Av, is celebrated as a festive day. I know that sounds very interesting and unusual, but 
That is told to us by the words of our rabbis long before me. But that's one of the reasons that Tuba Av is celebrated as a festive day. And that's coming this Friday. What you and I are going to do is mostly teach about it and not say Tachnun because it is a festive day. Thanks for logging on. We'll teach a little bit more about this on Thursday and on Friday. Have a great day. Log on again tomorrow for more.